I used the new Gemini 2.5 Pro model to write one of the best articles that I've ever written using AI. It's almost 4,000 words of content. It's in-depth, engaging, and it has internal links and a custom HTML element embedded in the article. So in today's video, I'll be showing you exactly how I was able to do so. To write this article, I didn't use Open Router and I did not use the AI Studio because the output quality is not optimized for in-depth articles. I created my own tool and I was able to add the Gemini Pro 2.5 model onto the tool to write the article. And this tool allows you to scrape your sitemap and include those internal links naturally throughout your article and create custom HTML elements, customize your word count, include additional context, and do a lot more to create the best possible article for any topic in which you're going after. So to get access to this tool, I will leave the link in the description below today's video. It's still on a temporary domain once we switch over to wordrocket.ai. But I really wanted to show you guys how powerful this tool is at generating some of the best quality content I've ever generated. To use the tool, you first need to enter an open router API key. And to do so, all you do is head over to openrouter.ai, add over, create an account, go to create key. And I think you need to have at least $10 on your account. And once you have that, you will then be able to use your key. And I've generated a lot of content, a lot, a lot of content. And as you can see, I haven't even used $10 as yet. So the first unique feature that we have within the tool is the ability to enter your sitemap. It's very simple. You enter in your URL dash sitemap underscore index dot XML, or it could be sitemap.xml. So it really depends on the type of sitemap in which you have. But for this one, it is this version. So once we scan it, as you can see, it's going to successively retrieve over 195 um, indexed URLs. And it will increase, obviously, if you add more URLs onto your sitemap, you can always rescrape it. So now that we have 195 URLs, we can actually naturally include those relevant links throughout the article. This is very, very powerful because you don't have to go and manually include internal links. It will naturally and intelligently include those links. So let's say, for example, this is the keyword in which we like to go after. So this is the keyword that I found and we'll be testing our content on Neuron Writer. So currently we have a score of 65 using a different AI writer. So we're going to try to beat this number. So this is the topic in which we like to write about. I'm going to head back over to the tool and then we're going to enter this into our blog post topic. And let's say for a keyword, if our keyword is just how to get a mortgage in Canada, if you are a newcomer, then we're going to enter that as a target keyword. For the model, we're going to use Gemini Pro 2.5 Experimental. At the time of recording this video, the API is actually completely free. So you can use everything in this video for completely free. It's no sign up cost currently because we are in beta. You guys will get first access to it. There will be a paywall soon, but it's not going to be very expensive just because we have to pay for a service and whatnot. So to sign up for WordRocket, it's completely free. And to use the API, it's also completely free. So you're literally paying $0 to generate this content. $0. Amazing. So now we're going to increase our word count to, let's say, 3,000. We're going to write using the first person perspective because that would, I think, make the article a little bit better. And we're going to include a hook. And we're also going to include an interactive HTML element. So this is going to allow us to have an actual custom HTML tool baked in to the article, which again is very, very powerful. So we're going to click generate. Now keep in mind that Gemini Pro is being um, overloaded because it's currently free. So sometimes when you generate, it may not work right away. So if it doesn't work right away, you just have to send it again and it will work. And I'll show you guys some of the auto models in which we have in that meanwhile. So we have models from DeepSeek V3. This is a new model that's also completely free. O1 Mini, of course, Perplexity, so Sonar Reasoning. Perplexity Sonar Pro and Claude 3.7 Sonnet. We have some other models that work best for Perplexity, which I will be showing you guys. For this specific, um, this specific uh, template, I definitely recommend using Gemini, DeepSeek, or Claude 3.7 Sonnet. So we're going to give this some time for this to generate. In the meanwhile, let's go ahead and generate a blog post cover image. And to do so, I'll be using my second tool which is image rocket. So to access image rocket, just head over to image rocket.ai. You can click start creating. Now, if you already have an account, you can log in. And the actual app is at app.imagerocket.ai. We recently got a new URL and we also have lifetime deals available. So you pay once and you get access to this tool forever. It is absolutely a steal because I believe that these are some of the best AI generated images you can get. So we're going to create a blog post cover image. So I'm going to use the Instagram. I'm going to use 
landscape. We're going to do realistic because I like my images to be more realistic. Um, let's use model number one because it's best for text. So this is the text in which we're going to be creating. So how to get a mortgage in Canada. And then we're going to make this a secondary text. And then we're going to have an image. You can definitely use ChatGPT to create a much better prompt, but the AI works really, really well and is very smart. So we can tell it to create an image of a half Canada, half Indian flag of an Indian person standing outside their home with a sold sign and being handed a key. So again, we can use ChatGPT to tell it to create a better prompt, or we can simply just use a prompt like this. So I'm going to go ahead and click generate image. It will take me about 15 seconds to generate an image. So from both of these tools that I've created, because honestly, I created these tools for myself to make my content creation a lot better. And it is my go-to tools that I use to generate content. And I guarantee once you guys start using it, you will really like it. Here is image, how to get a mortgage in Canada if you're a newcomer from India. An Indian person, we have a sort of Indian Canadian flag. Of course, you can choose to include this if you like or not, but this looks great. This is an amazing image and it goes so well with the blog post in which we'll be creating. You can play around with the settings and use model two. You can play around with image style and so forth. Everything is going to give you a different output, but overall the outputs are really, really good. So the content should be finished now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the finished content. So here is the comprehensive blog post in which we get back. So first we get the title. Da -da -da. Moving to a new country is a huge adventure. I remember the mix of excitement and nervousness when I first thought about settling down in Canada. If you're a newcomer from India, perhaps you're feeling the same way. You're building a new life, finding your way around, maybe, maybe, maybe just maybe dreaming of owning your own home. But buying a home usually means getting a mortgage and navigating the mortgage system can feel like trying to solve a complex puzzle. Right. So this sounds really good. This is very, very personable. Take a deep breath. You're not alone. Question, um, smiley face. How to get a mortgage in Canada if you're a newcomer. So we see that target keyword is included within the first paragraph. Let's make that Canadian home dream a reality. Right. So really good. The content looks really good. If there's some formatting issues, do not worry. I will show you guys how to fix that. Now, let's take a look at this. We see an internal link. Let's see if it's actually went ahead and linked to our website. This is our website. And this is our blog post. Intelligently, it has known which article to link to. And again, this is completely free. We paid zero dollars. I want to stress that zero dollars to generate this article. So again, another improving your credit score, another internal link, essential mortgage documents, another internal link. You guys know how hard it is to include internal links and how long it takes if you have to manually do it or pay for a secondary tool. But as you can see here, and these are all relevant, non-broken links, right? And we have about eight to nine um, actual internal links. So let's scroll down here. So first, I want to show you guys how to copy this the best. So you want to hit preview, copy markdown. We're going to head over to markdown to HTML. This is how the content looks like. It looks a little bit unformatted, and that's because it added in some code at the top here. So usually doesn't do that, but all you have to do is remove that code. And as you can see here, the content looks really, really good. So we're going to have to make this back into H1, but you can see the content is well organized. It looks great, right? It's a lot of content. It has internal links. It's very relevant. It sounds very human like it's from the first person perspective. And we also get a newcomer mortgage readiness checker. So we get a custom HTML element right within embedded within our blog post. And this is what ranks on Google. And I've seen this many, many times with my articles, my clients articles, Google loves this type of content. And that's what actually ranks. So this is the full content. Now, if you went ahead and just copy this over, everything would be fine, except the HTML wouldn't look the best. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually add the HTML onto your website. If we head back over to the tool and we scroll down, we can actually see a preview of the HTML element in which it created. So don't worry about the code. I know it looks a little bit messy, but as I showed you guys, you can clean up very, very easily. And as we improve the tool, these things wouldn't be there. Newcomer mortgage readiness checker. So we can actually go around and play around with this. It's just a preview. So it probably doesn't work fully, but again, it gives you a great idea of the, of the um, custom tool in which you created. So look at this guys, not only did we generate an article, we generated this beautiful chart. In just a matter of minutes, we did nothing and it's completely free, right? Like there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to create high quality in-depth content very, very easily using these tools. Okay. So let's go over to a website and actually post this to see what it will look like. 
this is the blog post and what it will look like on WordPress. Again, looks really, really good. Only thing is that I know the custom HTML element will not work. So this is where the custom HTML element would go. So what I'm going to do is we're going to add a new block. We're going to add an HTML block. And it's a similar process for any other CMS. Very, very simple to do. Just an HTML block. We're going to head back over to the tool. And then all we have to do is copy over the HTML element. So again, copy over HTML element. Instead of using the preview, we're going to go to code and copy over HTML. We're going to paste that in there. This code is a little weird because what it did was it actually included an article um, within the HTML element as well. So it included a new article. So what all we have to do is just remove the text, right? Um, it usually doesn't do that, especially when I use Claude 3.7 Sonic, because I think that is the best, um, the best most optimized model for this specific template. So it doesn't really do that, but of course it's using a new model. So that's kind of why the, the HTML element got a little bit messed up. So all we have to do, right? We're just going to remove the text and just leave the HTML element. So again, let's just remove this. So this is what the actual element will look like without any text. So we can choose our status and our timing. How long have you been in Canada? Down payment, where you got your money from, income and employment, credit history, check my readiness, and it gives us a readiness assessment, right? So this is an amazing, amazing HTML element. And it's beautiful, it's very relevant, it works well, it's interactive. And this is the type of content, again, that will rank on Google. Google loves this type of content. This is what people also love when they're going on a site. Yes, they would like to read a blog post, but of course, if they can use a tool like this and give them some information and give them directly what they need to find out, especially in the age of AI search, where people want information quickly, this is the type of content that will rank. So that is how you use my tool to generate content. It is very, very easy to do so, as you can see, to use the tool, you first need to enter an open router API key. And to do so, all you do is head over to openrouter.ai, head over, create an account, go to create key. And I think you need to have at least $10 on your account. And once you have that, you will then be able to use your key. And I've generated a lot of content, a lot, a lot of content. And as you can see, I haven't even used $10 as yet. And this is me generating loads and loads of content for testing. So $10 will carry you a long way when it comes to generating your content. I think that would be the most you'd probably use per month, which would be about $10. Um, so it makes content creation much, much more cheaper. And not only, not only is it much cheaper, I will continually be adding any new model that comes out. You guys will get it into this tool literally the same day because it's very, very quick for me, for me to do so. So you'll be getting new models updated. You'll be getting a host of models which, which you can choose. You have one place that you can come and create your content for a very, very low cost. There's a couple other templates and I will definitely do a dedicated video on this template because it's really, really good. You have the real time blog generator with web search. So essentially what this does is you can enter a query, right? So like best running shoes of 2025 under $800. And let's say again, this is the blog post topic. We're gonna paste that in there. And this is also the target keyword. We can use the perplexity sonar reasoning model. This works really, really well. It is a little bit more expensive, but um, it's really good for doing web search. And the AI will go out, scrape the web, and then create content based upon that information. And because it's using perplexity, the output quality is actually really, really good. So again, once you join and sign up for an account, which is free, you'll get access to all of these models. And you can use it as much as you like because you're using your own API key, but it works out to be much cheaper for you in the long run. So let me know any suggestions that you guys have, any comments, any things you would like me to improve or add on the tool. I'm excited to start this journey with you guys for building this tool, and I would love to have your feedback. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.